Senators Rand Paul and Mitch McConnell have always been a political odd couple of sorts in the Republican caucus of the U.S. Senate. Their ideology and votes have often differed greatly on issues of federal spending and foreign policy. Even so, the Kentucky senators have rarely taken direct shots at each other in public since Paul first vanquished McConnell's chosen candidate in the 2010 GOP primary for his Senate seat. That changed last month, though, over President Joe Biden's desire to nominate an anti-abortion, Federalist Society attorney for a lifetime federal judgeship in Kentucky, leading the senators to publicly point fingers at each other for sinking the nomination. Now, nearly a month after the squabble, Paul told the Courier-Journal there is still work to be done and discussions to be had in patching up their relationship. I think it is going to require some repair, Paul said, when asked if his relationship with McConnell has frayed over the nomination. And there needs to be more conversations. Still, Paul put the onus on McConnell for reconciliation. Has the one that made the deal without talking to anybody. He needs to pick up the phone, and we need to start the conversation again. Because Terry's going to be more judge positions that come open, and there just needs to be a discussion. When the White House announced July 15 that the planned nomination of Chad Meredith was off because Paul did not return a blue slip for Meredith, McConnell and his aides put the blame squarely. There's sort of a big discussion over how they do it, Paul said. But we were surprised in this instance because I guess McConnell made some kind of deal with Biden that we still are not aware of. While many openly speculated that the president must have cut a quid pro quo with the GOP leader to nominate the Federalist Society member to a lifetime judgeship, MCC. Rather, they said, the president put forth Meredith as a personal friendship gesture to him. 